here's uh, the large pole again, and here's my pumping mechanism. Nice plunge poles that I've created. This here's where four wheelers go across and then flatten this area real flat. As you can see, this whole area, and this all used to be full of water. This whole area here, as you can see, I took all the rock, filled it in, and centralized the channel. So water goes through this channel and it's created this really nice pull here. You get a nice flushing run in an area where it's supposed to naturally pull when you have the material there. It will backfill. All the sediment will backfill and just create a beautiful little home. Beautiful plunge pools. Starting with places that are already elevated and dredging them out towards their bottom so they dig themselves out. So gotta be careful on where you're doing these things though. This here was at one time, you can see where somebody had built a dam here. So that's where it was naturally elevated, but the dam busted down many, many, many years ago. And it's healed itself. And I've opened it up along the side here. So it creates one deep plunge pool at the base of it. Going through here is a nice riffle run, nice pool area, nice spawning habitat, perfect size cobble. Peeled all this in, this here, this whole area here used to be real flat along the side. This bank is a little bit higher but it's all stone structure along the side. And it's got stone structure along these bends so it won't hurt or erode the bank and it flushes and it takes a sharp turn back into that plunge pool and areas such as this are healing which used to be all flat didn't even have really much of a pool here at all it does have a pool here now but all this was flat it's got these nice flushing pumps still and pool area Nice rock and wood structure through there. Nice pump system. Nice pull. Nice flowing pump again. This area right in through here was all flat. So I gorged it out by taking the rock out of this middle here, placing it over here to the side and the side and creating a nice straight run with big rock structure because it will create in the front of it, it will create an area for fish and these are all nice right in through here. Well, pumps on the side, rock structure, large woody debris, all rock structure, all rock structure, coming the whole way throughout here, large pool area, there's some brook trout right there, you can't see them in the video I'm sure, but they're there in that open light area. Seeing lots and lots of fishers. At the moment I see six or seven right there. And I'm surprised I didn't spook them. I'm right up on them. Nothing large though at the moment because those large ones, they run at the first sight of anything. There's the small ones, there are small ones. You might have caught a glimpse of them. But all this is filled in since that high water flow. It would be really nice to show you guys as to how I manipulate a lot of these parts. Which still looks completely natural. You can't even really tell too much that I really did much of anything to the stream. Here's another section where four wheelers, this here was naturally flat within itself, but four wheelers went through and even made it worse. So I made these deep gorges here 
where a lot of water used to flow along this side and a lot of water used to flow along that side. I centralized the channel so it doesn't do that anymore. So hopefully, and what it seems to be doing is it's naturally here on itself. And you can see where I gorged out rock here. Gorged out rock there. Took a lot of this area here, it's laying flat. A lot of this area here, it's laying flat. And I took it so the water flow goes through this middle. It used to go along these sides, which uh, also created the flatten out quick, more quickly. Tell you what, those four wheelers, they don't help. They make a mess of everything they touch. The water used to go clear up to here. And you can see how much it's already healed itself. And this is actually at a high water flow. So this here, and this was all full rock, but now all you can see through it is a thick paste of silt, mud, and leaf. Which, that's part of its healing process. And the same for over there. See how wide this channel is. And this is all hard clay bottom. So it's, it's slowly, but making its way through the middle again, creating a nice pump. Nice riffle run, cool water. Created all these little J hooks. All these little sidebars through here. J hooks, sidebars, J hooks, sidebars. All this is done is because all this bank was getting undercut and eroded. Which that kills trees and in some places it can be alright, but this here was just unstable. It was actually just ripping it apart and it's all healed up pretty well. Because there used to be an old dam structure here. <clears throat> Manipulated rock all through here to create these little pumps, these runs and pumps and holes. This here's one of the major holes that I created. Naturally did it itself having this old dam structure here. But I filled it in with woody debris and rock structure. And it's created a really nice punch pull effect because of this old existing dam. Now I've seen fish go up along these side roots. There's a small little side route here. And I've watched the little brookies trying to make their way up the old dam that I broke down. I broke down the dam to a point where I've seen the brookies try to make it up it. It's not that high. So I'm going to assume that they did eventually make it. But there is a pool area there big enough and it's only about a foot. And these were small brook trout. The larger fish with a better gene pool would be able to make it up this. Ugh. Maximizing it for trout all throughout. This here, this little tiny section was real It was actually kind of stagnant in a sort. Um, the water didn't have this bend as of till last year. I took these structures and put it in here and it created a bend in the pole. So it's created these real nice ripped up areas. This used to be all a dam that was here. And uh, it got broke down about 10 years ago, but never healed properly yet. But now, within the last couple years with some of the work that I've done, and just uh, some placement of structure it has healed itself it's created natural nice undercut bends and I filled all this in with woody debris and it's really done a lot of work well my name is Michael Terry and I appreciate that you uh, came along for the journey I hope you learned something uh, don't do any restoration of streams that you don't know what you're doing, you can ruin a stream a lot. Hopefully I haven't.